Because of the standard property exclusion for artificially generated electric current, it'll be difficult to establish coverage for this loss. You must get creative by arguing that the proximate cause was a windstorm that caused the rubbing on the wires. Of course, if the branch rubbed the wire over a long period of time, the insurer might invoke the wear and tear exclusion. Many courts rule that the only the most direct and obvious cause should be looked to for purposes of applying an exclusion. In this case, the efficient cause of loss would be the artificially generated current. For instance, in describing this damage, the client would not be referred to the loss as wind damage to my computer, but rather electrical damage to my computer. 